All right, so what is up you guys? It's Andrew back with another video and today I've got a eBay unboxing that I'm gonna be doing for you guys. Now, normally I don't really buy shoes on eBay too often. Every now and then if I find a good deal, I will. Um, in this case, I did find a good deal. They were under retail. Later this week, Friday, I will be turning 21. March 10th is my birthday. Uh, be turning 21 this year, finally. It's really not something I usually share, but this is what I'm going to consider my birthday present to myself. Something a little, you know, you gotta treat yourself every now and then. This is me treating myself, technically, so let's just get right into it. Now I'm gonna be using an X-Acto knife. Um, not really sure why, but actually I do know why. It's because I'm too lazy to find a regular box cutter or utility knife to unbox this. And I have an X-Acto knife sitting over there for whatever reason. So now that that's done, I can put this off to the side. Inside here we've got a red and white Nike sportswear box. Nike Air Max 1 Ultra Flyknit. For those of you who don't know, the Air Max 1 Flyknit came out last year. I never really picked up a pair, although I wanted to, but this is me finally picking up a pair. So we've got a receipt inside. And this is the first time I've seen these in person, and oh my god, these are crispy. Wow. There you guys have it, the Air Max 1 Ultra Flyknit. This is insanely clean in person. Holy shit. Wow. I don't care how weird that looks on camera or to anyone who's not a sneakerhead who doesn't understand what a new shoe smell is like. Oh my god. And with Nikes, you always gotta check that quality control. Really, with any brand, you always gotta check that quality control. But my god, these look super clean in person. Oh my god. I'm honestly so excited to have these. There you have it, folks. The Air Max 1 Flyknit. For those of you who don't know, the reason they call it the Air Max 1 Ultra Flyknit is because um, the Ultra is this lightweight, um, almost like a minimalized outsole. Instead of having a solid outsole like most Air Max 1s will have, it's more lightweight. And these are extremely light in person, not just because of the Flyknit, but because of that outsole. Visible air unit, as you can see, Nike Air on the back. And you got that hit of red all along the side, the mud guard, which is more of a hyperfuse. This fly knit white and almost like a silvery gray material. White laces. Nike Air Max on the tongue, as you can see. Crispy and dead stock. You can see that air unit in the heel. And um, my god, these, I'm sorry, these are really, really clean. And I'm super happy to have these in my collection. I plan on breaking these out this spring and summer. I might even wear them Friday on my birthday, but you know what, I think I'm gonna skip out on that. It might get really cold, it might get snowy. I don't wanna take these out in the snow for obvious reasons. This Flyknit upper is super nice. This like Flyknit and Hyperfuse upper is really, really nice in my opinion. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've never owned a pair of Air Max 1s. I have a couple pairs of Air Max 90s. That's like my favorite Nike sneaker of all time. And then I do have one pair of Air Max 95s that I've actually done a restoration on. If I haven't uploaded that Air Max 95 restoration video, um, just to give you guys a heads up, it's a pair of Air Max 95s that I picked up at a Goodwill. Thrifted them for $4.99, so, uh, and they were in my size, so I did a full restoration, a full cleanup, and a midsole repaint. And um, they turned out, I'm look, actually looking at them off camera, I'm not going to show you guys just yet, but they turned out really, really nice. That being said, I am super happy to have these in my collection. Um, I know most people are going to be like, dude, why didn't you pick up the Air Max 1s, the, I guess the Quick Strike. Um, is it a Quick Strike, technically, because they released in more limited quantities, but the OG Air Max 1s, the blue, and, the blue color, the red color, and then the Atmos pair coming out this month. Last year when they were voting, I did vote for the Atmos pair to come back. I didn't realize they were going to bring back the red and white um, OG colorway. I'm glad they did because it's, I mean, on the Flyknit version, it's super clean. I decided to go with this version because I have a pair of Air Max 90s that they released um, 2015. It was the last time they released. That's like my favorite sneaker of all time, actually. My favorite Nike sneaker, probably my favorite sneaker of all time. And if Nike were to keep coming out with that sneaker every single year, I would still pick up a brand new pair and just beat the crap out of them all year. But that's a shoe I can wear year round. The only downside to it is it's, it's so bulky and so uncomfortable at times that I can't really justify buying, or I can't justify buying the Air Max One when I had this option for under retail um, on eBay and it was just screaming my name. 
for those of you who don't know, and I know, I'm not saying I'm some kind of influencer who's going to decide everything, but uh, this is the year of the Air Max. Air Max is coming back. This is the year of the Air Max, and the last couple of years it's been Boost, Ultra Boost. Anything Boost has been screaming for me to cop it. I have yet to buy a single pair of Ultra Boost or Pure Boost or anything. Every time I come around to buying a pair of Ultra Boost, I can't justify spending $180. It may be the most comfortable shoe I've ever put on my feet, but I just can't justify spending $180. Um, if, cause, and I can never find them for under retail and that's my strategy patience saves pockets and under retail I'm just gonna go under retail boys that's how we do things over here so I decided to go with the Air Max 1 Flyknit and the OG colorway my next pair that I want to pick up though is the Air Max 90 infrared Flyknit um, I saw those on the shelf at this place called the Athletes Foot in the Orland Park Mall and there's just something about them and then this was like two weeks ago that I saw those and then last night I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw Sean Witherspoon had them with uh, on feet on his Instagram. But I'm telling you guys, it's the year of the Air Max. You know, take it from me, take it from Jordan Martin. It's the year of the Air Max. So that's my newest pickup, my birthday kicks, I guess, my birthday present to myself. Happy birthday to me. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed this unboxing and quick review. Comment below what you guys think. And if the weather is nice enough outside, I may just throw these on feed right now for you. And of course, subscribe for more content similar to this. Until next time, guys, this is Andrew signing off. Peace. All right, guys, so quick uh, behind the scenes, little clip, little add-on at the end. Um, unfortunately, the weather does not permit me to wear these outside today. I just want to let you guys know, since I forgot to mention it, if anyone is interested in copying a pair of these, um, I would recommend eBay. You could probably find some for under retail. And go true to size. Like, I wear a 9, 9.5. I decided to go with a 9. These fit incredibly well. Um, Flyknit fits like a sock, same, similar to Prime Knit. If you're interested, go true to size. So thank you again for watching. And, of course, subscribe for more content.